Hello and welcome back to the weekly content creation vlog. Uh, my name is Michael Bivens and this is the vlog where I come in every Sunday and talk about all of the content creation that I've been involved with in some way or another um, over the previous week or since the last episode um, in cases like what happened last weekend. Um, which is what the first thing I'll be talking about today is. So I live in Central Texas um, and I was impacted by the blackouts um, and so I was not able to really do anything this last week until um, yesterday I was finally able to start focusing in and, and getting back. Um, I had consistent electricity and so I was finally able to start getting um, work done again on podcasts and content creation and such. And so um, because of the blackouts, I obviously missed last week's vlog. Um, and additionally, more seriously for me, I uh, was not able to complete the daily content creation that I have been trying to do. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, since November I have been trying to create one piece of content every single day um, or engage in content creation once a day um, for a full year. Unfortunately, I was not able to do that during the blackout. Um, and so this year-long journey essentially has failed, um, but that's all right because failure brings knowledge and you learn from it and you grow from it and you take the lessons that you can. And so I am disappointed, absolutely, yes, I'm disappointed, but I still took a lot of important lessons, I think. Um, I think this has helped me with being focused, helped me with understanding my projects uh, better than what I had. Um, I'm much more organized and um, I now have a clear path forward and I know what I want to do and I can still hit those, let's call them deadlines that I've set for myself um, that I intended to hit with this year long creation. I think just changing up how I approach this work is likely what I'm going to do because I do see that every single day engaging in content creation is not something I'm quite at yet. Um, I feel like this is more, this creative muscle needs time to be built up and strengthened. And so while this has been um, uh, a marathon so far, I'm thinking sprints might be the way to go. Um, at least while I continue to build up that creative muscle. And while I um, am saddened that I uh, failed at this journey, I think that it brought enough good because of it that I can accept this defeat with grace and um, forgive myself. Uh, because this was, um, you know, this isn't a major thing. It's not like I'm uh, answering to anybody I'm answering to myself but it was important to me and I set this personal goal and so it is what it is but I will um, move on past it uh, with uh, with renewed vigor for the projects I do have so as I said uh, I was in Central Texas dealing with these blackouts and so I just chose to focus in on time with the people that um, I was with for the time of the blackouts and so I don't regret that at all. I think that was the best decision I could have made. Um, and so moving forward, I'm going to be refocusing on what I need to focus on. Um, I did spend most of that time playing board and card games um, because without electricity, what else were we really going to do? So that actually did help a lot because I have um, a few board and card game mm, ideas, let's call them ideas because they're so rough and early. And so some of them are obviously more advanced than others, but the first, after the comic book, I want to folk, I won't, I'll be switching gears into the card game. I did have a, a major breakthrough after three days of just playing card and board games. It suddenly clicked in my head um, what I was, how I was approaching the card game wrong. And so I'm excited to explore that further. Um, 
soon, but right now I need to focus in on the comic book and get that first one, get the draft of it written very soon. Um, I did not make progress on that this week at all, as you can imagine. Um, but I have decided to move forward with one of the artists who have applied to create the cover. Um, of course, if this artist is interested in continuing and feels capable of executing my vision for the actual comic book, um, then I would be more than excited to work with them. But for now, they are just contracted to create the cover. Um, and so, and mentioned in a previous video, I'm trying to get this cover soon because I have an opportunity to promote it with an upcoming live um, podcast that I'll be participating in where I will actually discuss um, make-believe and um, kind of world building and how that interacts kind of with mental health. Um, and I'm really excited about that. I will likely be including details, not on this week recap um, of how to access it, but next week, um, just because I, I myself am still gathering the details um, it is not an opportunity that I sought out, rather somebody has asked me to co-host for their live episode on that, and so still working on building up the details, but I'll be excited to share those next week on how to, how to access that. Um, <clears throat> additionally, after I already got my power back, uh, if, we'll go to my, if you go to the website, msbimmons.com, you'll see that a lot of changes have happened. The homepage is now different. Um, uh, it's updated as much more of a portfolio feeling now and so you'll see the link to this vlog here on this YouTube channel um, as well as the three podcasts I have hosted or co-hosted so far those being Five Questions, Silent Journeys, and most recently F in Chat. Um, F in Chat obviously also took a break last weekend with all the kerfuddle of Valentine's Day and, and energy issues, and so hopefully we'll be back at it with a new episode. Um, it should be releasing today um, at the re at the time at the release of this video. It would have been recorded the previous night, and so I am hoping to have that next episode out. As always, um, I look forward to you uh, joining in um, and the discussions and participating as a viewer because in all of my podcasts I really value the feedback and the communication I can have with listeners in any form that really takes. Um, F and Chat is definitely a departure from the kind of content I have been producing in that it is um, a co-hosted almost chit-chat show um, and my previous shows are about um, sharing mental health stories and sharing uh, and interviewing activists and advocates about what they do and why they do it. And so obviously it's a little bit different, but it's something that's ex that I'm excited about and has renewed uh, my, um, I guess not renewed, but ignited further my passion and love for everything that is podcasting and everything that uh, podcast and audio is capable of doing. Um, obviously, uh, I had always been um, excited about it and passionate about it, but engaging in a new project totally different from what you're used to always you know, ignites a fire underneath you. And so um, I'm looking forward to continuing that project with my co-hosts Marco and Clayton, um, and hopefully this show can grow into something far more um, than its humble beginnings. So we, we shall see. Um, Also, the Kofi has been deleted, so you will not be seeing anything about that. I have alternative plans uh, and uh, a kind of a vision that I am beginning to lay out the kind of foundation for. And as a result, um, part of those the decision making and moving towards this vision um, is uh, kind of assessing each of the components that I have and I engage in and that take up a lot of time. And Kofi uh, ultimately did not fit into what I am intending on pursuing. Um, of course, what I'm pursuing is still not totally being um, talked about openly, although I believe within the next couple of weeks I'll be ready to talk about what that kind of looks like. Um, but I am excited about things that are changing. Um, of course, if this is also the first video for you, um, I am currently a master's student at Texas State University pursuing student affairs and higher education and I have ultimately made the decision that at the end of the semester I will no longer be pursuing student affairs as a career path um, and instead will be 
switching gears to a new area. Um, and as you might have guessed, what that is exactly going to look like is something that I'm not quite re ready to share. Um, I am trying to put some things in order, get things figured out, and see exactly what this option that I am uh, most concretely working off of uh, would actually look like. And so I'll be excited to share that in the coming weeks. Um, that's really all I have for this content creation vlog entry. I appreciate you joining. As always, links to my website um, as well as anything else that is relevant will be listed in the description. Um, please feel free to contact me at any time. If you are interested in sharing your own uh, personal uh, mental health story, I would love to have you on Silent Journeys um, and give you that platform to share your experiences, whether that's a five minute rant or uh, a 20 minute discussion about coping mechanisms that you have found that have worked particularly well um, that you think others should be aware of. Um, or if you would like me to join um, as a guest in one of your uh, podcasts or be involved in some kind of way with your content, um, I am always looking for opportunities to kind of diversify my experiences and build off of that and, um, and uh, explore new skills and avenues for content creation. So please feel free to contact me from my website there. I would love to hear from you. Um, uh, but that's it for, that's it. So have a good day. Thank you.